Hello, hello everyone. How are you today? Lori from Art Lore. So today I'm doing um, colors that I'm not real sure are going to go together, but I think the end results might be kind of cool. And it's going to be on a 15 by 30. Um, I want negative space. Usually my 15 by 30s, they go over the edge. The whole canvas is covered. It's very busy. Uh, today I'm going to do um, a bloom one way and then a bloom up in the corner. I'll show you once we get down. But I do want to have some negative space. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, I was getting really good at no negative space. So now I'm working on being able to choose which way I want to go and actually get the end results. So let's take it down. We're going to make a mess. Um, like I said, it's a 15 by 30. It's a gallery wrap from Michaels and I have my pillow already down, which is the PPG Multi Pro and that's the interior eggshell and it's the 473110. Make sure it says that number because I, um, I've said this before, but I grabbed two cans and I was getting ready to pay and I looked at the number and it was the wrong number. So make sure it's that number. Um, yeah, let's get to it. I'll show you my colors and we're gonna make a bloom. Three exact. Okay, so here we go. Bring you down and I have to pull you back a little bit. I always forget that that's kind of a large canvas. So let's see here. Maybe I can bring you back a little bit more and then up. And I have to make sure you're in focus. Um, made up some new cell activator today too. That's the Aussie Floetrol, three to one with my um, Amsterdam Oxide Black. Uh, this color here I made and it's my uh, pea green, which I love. Let's see, I don't think you're in focus. There we go. Yep, it's my pea green and I love it. And I do primary yellow, primary red, and then phthalo cyanine blue. And it is a little thick, but I'm going to leave that. I don't think I'm going to um, thin that down. I just want to try something a little different and see if um, a little bit thicker is going to work. Um, I just want to try it. I just want to try a little bit thicker paint. Uh, sometimes it's thicker to me, but then when I get it on the canvas, it's not very thick. So I'm going to give this a try. This is Rose by Arteza and then a little bit of Bordeaux uh, with Arteza from Arteza. And that's really pretty. And I hope you can see this. My phone is like, I, I, I know you're probably tired of hearing me say it, but my phone is just being weird. So now this is, you know, there's no explanation for this one, except for that it's just so gorgeous. The TLP, Harvest Gold, yum malicious, Yum, yum, and yum. Okay, this next one here also I made, and this is um, Primary Yellow, Primary Red, Phthalo Cyanine Blue, it's pulling a little bit more teal, it looks like, um, on the camera, but in real life, it's more green, but it's a really pretty green. So I think it'll pair quite well with this one. I think it'll be fun, and hopefully it'll clash with this one, but in a good way. We will see. Then I liked the, the colors, I liked all of that, but then I thought there just needs to be something, just a little bit of an oomph in there. So this is the artist, or I'm sorry, the Liquid Twex, Liquid Twex, Liquid Tex Bright Aqua Green. And this is just straight out of the tube. Nothing added, nothing taken away. And I thought that would be fun. And I'm going to start out with that color and put it next to this because I thought these two would be good contrasting and hopefully they won't fight against each other and they'll play nicely. So let's, I'm gonna take my rings off 
And so I think what I'm going to do, let's see, I want to make sure you're in focus and you're not. There we go. Okay. So, um, looks like I have to pull you back just a scant more, just to get you better in frame. There we go. Make sure you're in focus. I've got to remember to do that. Ugh. Okay, it used to do it automatically, but I don't know what's going on. So, here we go. So, my goal is this. One bloom here, and then I'm going to do another bloom here, and just kind of one in the corner. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna start right here with the bright aqua green. And then this homemade green. And hopefully it won't be too weird looking. Now I think I was going to do my gold next, but I think I really want that gold in between this color here, the rose Bordeaux color. I want the gold in between, and I'm not going to drizzle it. I am going to pour it on because I'm hoping it'll kind of create a few little cells here and there around the Bordeaux and this homemade pea green. So, so far the colors don't look too hideous. Um, we'll see. Now, I think what I would like to do though, is just to drizzle a little tiny bit over the green. just so I can get a couple little cells going in there where they incorporate together. Got a couple little bubs going here. Get rid of those. Just mixed everything up this morning. Okay, here we go, cell activator. All right, high fan, cool air. that's not too bad. I hit the white again, which really bums me out. Oh, I wish I'd stopped doing that, but it is what it is. So, um, I want to do one right here going in this direction. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more paint just so the bloom has a little cushion here. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Selling up quite nicely, not seeing a whole lot of the pink in there, but I am seeing the green. Mm, it's not too bad. 
And of course I'm seeing the harvest gold, which is yummy. Okay, so we're going to do one right here. Now, when I blow this out, I'm only going to go very small with the petals here and more with the petals this way and barely anything there so that it looks just like a half bloom and hopefully it'll kind of stay that way. And then the other bloom I'm just going to do in the corner. All right, here comes the gold. Kind of went for a little bit more of the gold. I just love seeing the gold entwine into everything. It looks so pretty. Here is my green. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit more of this uh, rose. And here we go with the cell activator. And let's hope I don't hit the white this time. I don't know, I just feel like I'm just having a little bit of a mishap these last few canvases that I've been doing, hand jams. We know we're going to lose some of that and that's fine. Um, I'm not so sure about this because I'm so used to everything being together. So aye, 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 we'll see. Um, okay, so I want to do just one like right here, like an off like on an angle, or maybe I should do it more on an angle here because that one's over there. So I'm going to do it on an angle there. I'm gonna add a little more paint. Okay. And I've been working a little bit too with my uh, cell activator. Kind of changed that up a little bit. Um, uh, this one, this uh, pouring medium is the Berry 300 and I did one and a half and then half of the Sherwin-Williams Infinity. And then I did one of the polyacrylic. So I'm still finding that the pouring medium might just be a little thin and I may have to go back to just the bare only. We'll see. Um, and that could just have a lot to do with the fact that the air is on in the house and 
the room is cooler. I have a little heater in here and I closed up my vents and um, whoop. so we'll see how this goes. They are selling up quite nicely. Um, colors are not too obnoxious. So I don't know. Experiment and find out, I guess. The aqua is showing up quite nicely, which is good. There's my pea green. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more. It doesn't seem like it's really doing a whole lot, but I'm going to do it anyway. There. Okay. Okay, so I think we will get some negative space. I'm hoping that this works. Um, these cells are kind of cute. I wish I would not have ended with the green. I'm not wild about that green in the center, but maybe once I am seeing a little bit of gold pop in, so maybe once that comes up, and uh, sets up a little bit more that will um, give a better show. So let's fill in my corners. Let's let this set up and then we're going to spin. Okay, corners are covered. Paints are covered. I did take a little bit of the cell activator out of the center here. Um, for the most part, the cells are looking pretty good. Um, yeah, they're kind of cute, little cute ones here and there. But let's spin this and see what happens. Um, I'm anxious to see if I'm going to actually get negative space or not. And hopefully I won't regret not putting this together. I don't know. I might still be able to salvage that after a spin or two. We'll see. Here we go. It's a little bit of a wimpy spin, but that's okay. I just want to see where I'm going to be. And... Yeah. Let's go this way now. I can tell you right now that's going to bug me really badly. Because I don't like the shape of the petal there, that one petal. So that's either got to come off, this one here. I might just scrape that off or blow that off. I don't like that whatsoever. Um, this has to come off because I don't like that. And this needs to come more this way. 
So we're going to just continue to spin and see what happens. A lot of pain on here. Okay, we're gonna give it a spin. I just had to look at something. It's coming off little bit by little bit. Give it another little spin. Another rotation. Got my trusty spoon. Okay, so this is coming off, that's good. This is coming off, that's wonderful. Don't like that at all. Um, I wanna get rid of this right here. Um, it's not bad. Um, I'm not liking the definition of the petals here. I don't like that at all. So, um, colors are kind of fun though. I don't mind the colors. I'm not sure I really like that either. I feel like I made that worse. Let's see what happens. Yeah, at least that's coming off. Um... Okay. That's way better. I don't mind that I lost the bloom. I really don't care. I just did not like any of this going on at all. I'm glad that came off. This is good here because it is off. And this I wanted in the corner. Um... I don't think I mind the negative space going on there. It's not bad because it's just a bloom all by itself. Although, maybe what I should do is scrape this off and put a little bit of um, pillow there. And that way it balances out with that one better. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to, um, let's see. Just do that to give it some line there. And then I think I'll take this. There. 
now I have some paint here. Let's see. Give this just a little bit of pillow. And then we'll have to spin just to kind of smooth this out, just to make sure that it's all level and even. Pushing that right up against the petal there. Okay. And now what I want to do is cover my chain up. Just give that a little bit of a fluff. And now we're going to spin. I don't like that now, but I'm going to spin it again because there's just a slight little demarcation in there where I added the paint. And um, now that negative space can match a little bit here and here. And um, I think that will work way better. Yes, but I don't like that. Wow, I'm just like ruining everything. Okay, um, all right. There, let's give that a try now. Good gravy. Okay, that's better. All right, we did it. Way better. Okay, so I got my negative space. I got my bloom in the center, which I wanted. I got the one bloom up the top. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I suppose this could have come a little further this way but I'm not going to mess with it because if I keep messing with it, I'm just going to really screw it up badly. For the most part, um, I set out to do one big bloom in the center, a couple on the ends with negative space. It's, a, it's not 100%, but I am happy with it. I still need to work on why I'm hitting my, my pillow. I think my dryer is just too close I don't pull it back quick enough. And so I'm hitting that um, paint, my acrylics, and I'm hitting it too deep, deep down. And of course it's hitting the pillow and then I push it out. And so I need to back off on the, uh, the dryer a little bit. And I think um, then I won't be hitting into the white, but for the most part, it looks kind of pretty. There's some cute little cells in there. There's cute little cells everywhere actually. So let me take you down and show you the results and we'll be good to go.
So there's the bloom that is just kind of by itself. I, I don't think the uh, composition of this bloom is really that great, but um, at least it's just got something going on in the corner. And I might fuss around with that later on, and then you'll see the results at the end of the video. Um, here's the center bloom. Cells are pretty. And I can't reach too far, but there's the top bloom. All right, there we are. Thank you so much for joining me today and letting me into your home. I appreciate all of you so much. I hope you all enjoy yourselves wherever you are. And if you like this video, leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. That would be wonderful. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Until next time. Bye.